So welcome back YouTube, Tom Palmer here. Today what I want to do is actually talk through how you can play a bunker shot when you've got a plug lie so your ball is right down in the sand and you actually want to get it to pop up nice and high and actually stay on the green. So probably a really hard shot is to actually get that plug lie to come out. However, this is going to be a technique that not only gets it to come out but actually gets it popping up higher and landing softer on the green. So everyone's probably heard of that traditional technique of closing the club face. Well, this isn't actually gonna be that technique. It's gonna be completely different. And the only reason I know about this technique is because of a load of playing professionals that I play with locally have actually taught me. So in particular, the person who taught me was Matt Fieldsend from Drayton Park Golf Club playing professional on the Euro Pro and a really fantastic golfer. And ever since he's taught me this technique, I've used it ever since and it's always helped me get out of plug lies. So this technique is gonna be really important for you guys to be able to get that ball popping up nice and high and get over a lip and actually land it nice and soft. So if you wanna find out how to actually play this technique, then make sure to stay tuned for the rest of the video. So as I explained in my intro, I'm gonna talk through tonight how to get the ball popping up high out of a bunker with a high lip like this one. So how can I do it? Everyone will probably be thinking, well, this is probably a one in a million shot. It's not. I can play this shot over and over again ever since Matt Fields then taught me this technique. So really, really simple technique to be able to do as well. So why do we get a plug line in the first place? Well, we've probably hit the fairway, we've hit a second shot that's just missed the green and it's got a load of sand in it, but because we've come from height, the ball's just gone straight into the sand and ended up with a lie like this. So I've walked up to my ball, it's not looking the greatest now. How am I gonna get my ball out of the bunker? Well, I'm not just gonna play a little chip shot to the side and try and get it out. I want the ball popping up high and giving myself a chance of actually getting it close to the hole. And you're probably thinking, bunker shot, plugged, close to the hole? Never. Well, this is a really simple technique that will actually allow you to do that. So the club that I'm gonna use is gonna be a 60 degree. I've got my ping, glide, forge wedge, and I don't wanna be using anything like a pitching wedge, nine iron, because there's just not enough loft on it. And the reason behind me telling you not to use the club face closing one is just because we've got a lip and we need to get it up higher. Closing the club face is actually gonna take loft off your club. So this is gonna be a slightly different one to get it up nice and high over the lip. So the way that I'm actually gonna play this shot, I've got my 60 degree now, I'm gonna set up just so that my left foot is in line with the golf ball. From here, what I'm looking to do is shuffle my feet into the ground a little bit, and what that will do is just lower me slightly when I come to play my shot. From here, my 60 degree is just gonna swing up nice and high. What I'm looking for on the way down is actually jabbing the sand and bringing your club straight back. So we're looking to jab the sand just before the golf ball. Well, me and Matt used to call this one the recoil shot. So it's almost jabbing straight into the sand and then jabbing straight back. What this is gonna do is actually cause the ball to pop up out of the sand and land softly on the green. So I'm gonna give it a go now and see how I actually get on. So just to make it that little bit harder, what I'm actually gonna do is jump on my ball and you'd be surprised, I'm gonna right bash it down, right in there and you can actually barely even see where my golf ball is. So what I'll do, is take a picture of that in a second. It's dug right down, I've stood on it, jumped on it, but I'm still gonna try and be able to get this ball out. So let's see how I get on. So that was severely deep dug down and I still managed to get it nice and high out of the bunker and it did pop out even with that big lip. So what I'm gonna do now is dig it down a little bit less and see if I can still get it out. This one I'm hoping will actually pops up a little bit higher. That was severe, so that was probably the hardest lie you will probably ever face. This one's gonna be a little bit easier, more like the shots that you're tending to see when you get yourself into that plug lie position. So this time, as you can see, the ball is not plugged down anywhere near as much as the last time. So it's still plugged and it's still down in the sand. However, this time I'm hoping the ball actually pops up a little bit higher. So we'll give it a go, see if we can get it up and on the green. Same technique bringing the club back nice and high, jabbing straight into the sand and bringing the club straight backwards. So we'll give it a go. So notice how the ball still popped up really high and the ball has just rolled to the back edge of the green. The greens are really firm and really hard here, but still the ball popped up high and landed softly. So probably one of the best techniques that I've ever, ever been taught in golf. So thanks so much for your help, Matt. Hopefully you guys back at home as well have learned this technique now 
and it makes it easier for you guys to get out of bunkers. If it has, please subscribe to the channel and comment on any of my videos to be entered into a free prize draw to win a brand new Spider S or Spider X putter. Make sure to stay tuned for more content coming out every Wednesday and Friday night at seven o'clock. See you all again soon.